Rebecca Hamad. I'm a professor of computer science uh, here at uh, the College of Computing, and I also serve as director of the Georgia Tech Information Security Center. Uh, the Georgia Tech Information Security Center was launched about uh, 12 years ago, actually 1998. And uh, the motivation for this came from the fact that computers and, and networks uh, basically are everywhere. It's from critical infrastructure, national security, to everyday things we do. So um, they're going to become targets of various kind of threats and how we're going to secure systems that are enabled by computers and, and, and networks. So uh, Georgia Tech established uh, this information security center and that's when I got involved in it. Um, uh, the center now is about uh, 15 faculty members and close to 100 graduate students. We all live sort of these virtual lives. Uh, you have your Facebook and your Twitters. Uh, your sensitive data is stored in various places. Uh, uh, there's been discussion about electronic medical records and healthcare IT and things like that. So it's whether work, uh, home, uh, your social life. We are using computers and networks to interact with each other and uh, there are a lot of bad people out there who are trying after your sensitive information. But actually, cyber criminals make money off uh, information that they steal from you and about you. So uh, cybersecurity research, uh, the challenges we have is understand the nature of the threats and then build defenses against the kind of attacks that would come from those uh, cyber criminals. The kind of projects that go on uh, at the center, actually I should say, uh, the center is one of the top places in the country or, or in the world when it comes to cybersecurity. So we have really uh, you know, leadership kind of research projects and understanding various kind of emerging threats. For example, one of those threats is called botnets. Uh, botnets are very large collections of computers that have been compromised by a cyber criminal or, or a gang. So a botnet is like somebody takes your car, drives it, and you don't even know that they, they, they took it. Uh, when you need it, it's there for you, so you don't even notice that somebody has been using your car. This is exactly what they do. They compromise your computer, and they use the resources on your computer to do bad things. For example, a lot of spam that you get uh, is delivered by botnets, which are collections of computers that have been compromised by criminals who are sending out uh, th that spam. So botnet research, uh, Georgia Tech and the Georgia Tech Information Security Center really are the leaders in this field. Uh, there's something called malware, so that's bad software that finds its way to your computer and then is running there. How do you actually understand what malware is doing? It's very hard. You can't just look at it because it uses all kind of obfuscation and evasion techniques, so you can't readily see what it's supposed to do. Uh, so we have a very sophisticated malware analysis program here that one of our research faculty, Paul Royal, runs, and it produces intelligence that sort of tells us what kind of bad stuff is going on uh, in, in, in the online world. So. Uh, uh, from understanding threats to coming up with defenses, uh, you're going to talk to some students. Hi, uh, my name is Vijay. Uh, I'm a fifth year PhD student here. Uh, and I work on uh, the question that when you get a call, uh, how do you know who's calling you? So for example, if it's Bank of America calling you, how do you know it is really Bank of America calling? And uh, the uh, problem is not knowing the answer to this question uh, has resulted in critical infrastructure losing a lot of money. So what we do is we try and analyze audio from calls to try and identify if it's Bank of America or other critical infrastructure that's trying to call you. So uh, I pretty much work on that. So I work with VJ on that problem. Um, I got involved with that uh, through the Intro to Information Security class uh, that I took. Uh, basically, the professor just called out for people to help um, help in this research uh, by basically making it work on, on the Android platform. And uh, that's what I worked on in the, over the summer semester, and now I'm working on it uh, uh, kind of in, a, in more detail as part of my master's project. 
My name is Martin. I'm a fifth year PhD student and uh, I'm working on uh, trying to increase the security of commodity operating systems like Windows and Linux that all of you use at home. So I, I explore the use of techniques like virtualization and program analysis to try to uh, add an additional layer of security to these operating systems so that we can don't get so much bothered by viruses and worms and bots anymore. So that's what I've been working on. Uh, my name is Long. Uh, I'm starting my third year PhD study here. Uh, I'm primarily working on uh, malware prevention and uh, our so-called virus. Uh, especially, uh, I'm working on a project that, uh, that deals with uh, web-infected uh, or web-spread malware. Uh, it's called Drive-by Download. For example, it can infect uh, one's machine uh, by just uh, you know uh, letting you to visit a website, and uh, then all the infection happens silently. And uh, the solution to this we're proposing is uh, we are trying to. Uh, observing and understanding user uh, interaction with the machine uh, via program uh, uh, in a pro programmatic way so that uh, we can know whatever downloaded into the computer is actually uh, the result of user's consent instead of some uh, arbitrary uh, virus or, or harmful software. We also work closely with a lot of companies in the Atlanta area. Atlanta is one of the, the major hubs for cybersecurity companies and uh, so how the research we do gets into solutions that can be deployed as we are going to see these more and more sophisticated threats. Uh, Georgia Tech is, is a leader in this space. We offer more courses than any other place. There are more research projects going on here. So for students who are watching this, if information security is something you're interested in, then come over and get to know our programs and uh, courses and, and research projects. Mm -hmm.